Hey everybody, what's up? Um, this is just going to be me speaking on the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Network. Basically what this is, this is a website that it isn't affiliated with Konami or the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game, but it's a website, a fan-made website that has, you know, pretty much all the cards. You can go on there and you can, you know, uh create these uh decks on there and you can try them out you know for yourself just to see how they work out you know but um i've been a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh since 2002 and that's when people say that it first came to the united states but i'm not sure because i was just you know into it like the very first game i played in Yu-Gi-Oh was on the game boy color i think Either it was the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Advance, but I know it was the 2002 uh, game. But yeah, like that's when I was introduced to it. So um, I just wanted to speak on like I well, not only the website and was you know happens on there. But I also wanted to speak on just uh, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh game in general. And basically, here's my rant about like the players on the site and Yu-Gi-Oh in general. Um, just like in life, and here I go acting like a philosopher. Like just like in life, you have people that only do things because you know that particular something has gained a certain degree of fame or popularity whether that be you know a fad a certain style or dress etc etc you know with Yu-Gi-Oh in this site in particular you have people that only use cards that are quote unquote the best and because they're known as this you know they gain popularity now I have to say this for the record I don't have a problem with people using certain cards as much as I have a problem with people using them only because just because they have you know like they're the thing to use and I hope you understand where I'm coming from when I say that. Uh, like the main cards being used right now, the main ones that I see being used, and the only ones I see being used, truth be told, and it's so annoying to see them, and it's so repetitive because I see them so much, it's like the game nowadays, it revolves around these cards. It's like, the main ones I see being used are Stardust Dragon, uh, Lone Fire Blossom, um, the Formula Synchron, uh, um, Brian Eck of Ice Barrier, uh, Trisha Little Ice Barrier. I don't know what else they use on there. Um, Tech Genius Hyper Librarian. That's another one I see a lot. Junk Synchron. Uh, the Solemn Warning. Solemn Judgment. I mean, Reborn Tingu. Uh, with something else. Um, like, uh, um, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Uh, you know what I'm not going to uh, like it'll hit me sooner or later uh, like uh, yeah but like that's, that's the basically the point I'm trying to make that these cards you know they get used so much and it's like how can I put it like basically 
Well, uh, all those cards I named, uh, like Glow Up Bulb. Yeah, that's the card right? I was thinking of. Uh, the Shooting Star Dragon. Um, the Shooting Quasar Dragon now. And I would say all of, all of the Tech Genius archetype. But even that's starting to be overshadowed now. But, um, you know, uh, like Lava Golem. Uh, um, Plague Spreader Zombie. Uh, the Ally of Justice Catastor. And pretty much basically anything that has to deal with inflicting direct damage and anything associated with six samurais and um now like i said before i don't have a problem with people using any card because you know the people are gonna play whatever card they want you know like whatever they feel like they want to play play with then that's what they're going to play with you know um but uh, like, do you know, uh, like, how you used to have, always have, like, that one annoying friend? I don't know if anybody else have, have, has ever had that experience, but it's, it's always that one annoying friend that you grew up with. And it's like, it gets to the point where you get tired of seeing them, and, like, you just need to get away from them for a while. And I know people are going to be turned gonna try to start jokes like oh my god this dude calling cards his friends no i'm just making a reference you know so like i'm trying to compare that to the card game all right but but yeah it's like you just need to get away for a while you know it's like and it's like you see them so much and they get and like the more you see them, like the more annoying that they seem to get. And it's like you just need to take a, a break away from them. In other words, like you, you don't want to see them no more. Like you don't want to see them for a while or whatever. But the whole point I'm trying to make is that players who use these cards have become, in a way, like, what was I going to say? It's basically like you get tired of seeing the cards. Um, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh players who use these cards have become. I like that one annoying friend. Because you get so sick of seeing the cards. It's like, you know what? I've played this already. And there's no uh, variety. There's no variety. And in a way... In certain aspects and I know a lot of people will agree with me and I know a lot of people will disagree with me but this is how I feel uh, on the game in a way synchros have pretty much killed this game and with exceeds on their way you know soon it exceeds are basically um, beating a dead horse so to speak now like when I say killed I don't mean I like that the game has become you know obsolete I'm just saying that it's a lot less enjoyable than it was and I understand why cause you know it's a business deal this game revolves around strategy and anybody that knows anything about strategy knows that it takes thought now you have to use your brain and make a deck build uh, based on a certain structure. And this involves thinking. And a lot of new people who were, you know, introduced to the game that wanted to learn it, who wanted to play, lacked the, how can I put it, um, like they lacked the interest to learn the game you know like they really lack the interest to actually try to you know sit there and make a deck or you know try to learn the rules or things such as that you know and 
and they basically just gave up on it. And I think uh, Konami had seen this happening, and what they ended up doing was introducing cards like Synchros. Well, but first they introduced Archetypes, and what Archetypes basically did, like that just made building a deck so much easier to the point that it was almost childish like it took no effort to build a deck once archetypes came out then they introduced you know all these cards with all these uh, special summoning abilities and effects and then synchros got introduced and from there like the game has just plummeted down in my opinion on a competitive level to where it takes little or no effort to summon these cards you can pretty much summon as many as, as you want to with no effort at all and it's like it's been for lack of better words uh, um, babyfied the game has been babyfied you know it, it takes no effort which in all honesty, you know, these, these synchros, they don't take no effort to bring to the field. Especially these days with, you know, these monsters with all these special summoner effects like I was speaking on. Like, and all these search options. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard at all. Now, here's the kicker. You have people who play this game and they use these cards that are known to be the most popular you know and they don't have any real knowledge or experience in the game and they know this but they figure well since I'm using the well since I'm using what is known to be the best cards in the game well like I wanna say like the best cards but the most popular ones you know then I can't lose <laughs> you feel me and then they get mad when they do lose because they didn't expect to lose with the quote unquote best cards you feel me the one thing you have to know about this game is that every card has a weak point every deck build has some sort of weak point and the strategy revolves around how well you can guard that weak point and these deck builds these days they don't have any good how can I put it like they don't have any good uh, defensive capabilities because everybody's using like the same card so it's like the same weaknesses are exposed and it's making the game that much more how can I put it it's making the game that much that much more or less distasteful well that much more or less tasteful yeah there we go but um yeah, like the one like the one thing you have to know about this game is that every card has a weak point, you know. Every deck build has a weak point. Some are more obvious than others, and but every card has this every card in this game has some weak point. Now let's take six samurais for example. Six samurais are are arguably the most popular archetype in this game currently. Now, now, I know that the description says that, you know, the deck specializes in, in field swarming, which is, which is basically a term for the game where a deck build is built around using excessive amounts of special summons in order to gain field advantage. 
of field control. Uh, now, the average player, you know, most likely won't bother to look beyond that. You know, they figure, okay, I got all these special summons. I got all these monsters on the field. I'm in control. It's basically nothing that can happen to me. But not knowing that the special summons, even though that's the six samurai's strong point, that's also their weakness. You know, like just because these cards are preconceived to be, you know, the best, you know, deck out there. Um, you know, just because they are like the top tier build and one of the more popular ones at that, um, it does not mean that they are invincible. You know, and if the best can be beaten, then they are no longer the best, right? Facts of life. I can't tell you how like as I played this on this site, I can't tell you how many times I I've played six samurai decks because it's it's basically been that many. And it's ridiculous. It's like But here's the point I was trying to make. Like people don't expect to lose with the best decks. And then they get mad when they find out that they actually can lose. It's like I played so many Six Samurais archetype decks uh, on this site alone that the player rage quits when they find out that they're about to get beat. And it's like you can always tell when they rage quit because um, when the duel gets to the point where they can't, you know, really do anything, or because when they get to the point where they see that they are at a disadvantage like they just quit and don't even try to see if they can turn the game around in their favor so, so they just leave abruptly out of the middle of nowhere you know like they just leave the game and, and the game could be going good but you know these six samurai players these six samurai players as far as like as far as my experience goes with them like they don't like to lose it's like some type of pride that they have as well as with these other cards that I named like shooting quasar dragon uh, the glow bow uh, shooting star dragon uh, starters dragon and all that all those other cards solemn warning solemn judgment all those cards you know like people who use these they don't expect to lose and when they find out how easy it is to counter those cards when you do counter them, it's still a penalty for activating, you know, those cards. So, yeah. Now, the back to the cards' weaknesses of the Six Samurais. Uh, like I said, strong point of Six Samurais is that is like that's their biggest weakness, which are special summons, and they have so many cards that can. You know, stop special summons, like beyond solemn warning and beyond solemn judgment. But this is what I was speaking on earlier about popularity overshadowing. It's 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 better cards out there that stop special summons and effects, like I uh, like uh, like Black Horn of Heaven, um, I uh, like Dark Trap Hole, I uh, uh, like uh, like Debunk. Uh, um, what's the name of that other uh, dinosaur? Uh, uh, fossil dino. Uh, Pax cephalosaurus cephalo. I, I, I can't pronounce the name, but it's fossil dino. Pacifola. <laughs> but y'all probably know what I mean. Maybe. Maybe y'all know what I'm what I'm talking about, but uh yeah that one, uh, uh the King Tiger of of a uh, Wong Hu, etc etc. It's a lot of different cards out there that are being overshadowed by popularity, and this game is losing 
its originality and unique value because everyone, you know, sees these top tier decks and these popular cards and they use them only because they are preconceived as being, you know, the best cards that you can get your hands on in this game. And the game has basically been revolved around this, these cards. And it's like only those cards and you, you see them so much so it's like you, you're just sick of seeing them going going back to that annoying friend you know it's like the whole purpose for this video was basically just to encourage people to play this game to explore beyond that popularity of certain cards you know certain cards may be popular but that doesn't mean that they work you know uh, better than other cards that may not be as popular you know um yeah like the, I just wanted to encourage people to, to play that, that play this game to explore and beyond that popularity of certain cards and you know to become more original and more uh unique you know, let's like for those that for, for those of us that do play this game, like let's have some you know variety in this game again. You know, instead of just doing people with you know like the exact same cards and exact or builds that have the exact same cards and you know and the exact same strategies. You know, but let's, you know, try to make our own unique strategies and, and not, you know, just do what somebody else is doing. You know, man, that's basically what this uh video is about. So, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you like it, by all means, enjoy it. But don't. overshadow other more effective cards just because they're popular or anything for that matter because if you actually do some digging and you look you might find something that works a lot better just my opinion